Hello everyone, this is Rob Capolini, the director of VLAB. And I wanted to quickly review with you our geopolitical risk section of VLAB. You can get to our geopolitical risk welcome page by clicking on the analyses dropdown and selecting geopolitical risk analysis. We broadly define geopolitical risk as the exposure of one or more countries to political actions in other countries. Our geopolitical risk section of VLAB is our attempt to measure that common exposure by looking at volatility shocks across a set of globally diversified assets. In this case, we have two different analyses, one which looks at country level ETFs and another that looks at asset classes. On the welcome page, you can see a summary of our GeoVol analysis for both of these data sets. For each analysis, you can see the current level of GeoVol, as well as a gradient showing the level of current GeoVol with respect to its past values. In this case, you can see for the country level ETF GeoVol analysis, the current level of GeoVol is at a moderate level compared to its past, whereas for the asset classes, it's at a high level compared to its past. You can also see a quick view of the trailing 12 month GeoVol for each analysis, as well as the top five GeoVol events. By clicking on the analysis page button, you'll be taken to the analysis page for that specific GeoVol analysis. In this case, you can see we're looking at the country level ETF GeoVol analysis. The latest reading for GeoVol is 0 0.0514, which is basically unchanged from the day before. As you can see, the analysis was last updated Monday, October 11th. The first thing you can view is GeoVol through time. You can compare GeoVol to various other measures of geopolitical risk, by using the comparison drop-down menu. For example, you can view GeoVol versus the Economic Policy Uncertainty Index by clicking on that box in the drop-down menu. Hovering over the graph, you can see the values of GeoVol and also of the Economic Policy Uncertainty Index. Since GeoVol can be viewed as a shock to geopolitical volatility, you can also view the AR1 innovations of each of these series and compare it with GeoVol by selecting it in the drop down menu. Likewise, you can view those values by hovering over the chart. Like in many other places in VLAB, there is a date selection tool which allows you to view different windows of GeoVol. You can do so by either clicking on the date select boxes and choosing your desired time period. By choosing predefined time periods to the right of those boxes, or by using the box underneath to select your specific desired time period. Below the chart, you can view GeoVol data for a specific month. You can choose the specific month by selecting the left and right arrows, or by clicking on the date and choosing your selected month in the date dropdown or in the date picker that appears. For each month, we display the loadings, both raw loadings and variance weighted loadings for each constituent in our data set. If the model selects, there will also potentially be principal components. Likewise, we can also include an index. In this case, we chose the MSCI All Cap World Index. To the right of the loadings chart, you can see the top GeoVol events for that estimation date. 